I'm a writer and an artist, and along with my wife Sedina, uh, we've created an organization called Age Nation, and uh, we focus on providing solutions for people in the second half of life. And um, I just want to say, Celeste, that um, I hope uh, that all of you who are here not only uh, applaud the work that she's done in doing this, but uh, you recognize uh, the gift that she gives by virtue of her willingness to listen and then to follow the impulse. And all of us have those words that sound in our hearts and our heads at various times. And some of us just let them sound and don't take up the challenge. And yet each of us has a note uh, a unique note in this symphony of life to play. And so if any of those words are sounding in your head, any of those little prompts kind of sneak up and tap you on the shoulder once in a while, pay attention because wonderful things come from it. Uh, and those are parts of the gifts that we believe, at least, that we're all here to communicate. So I want to celebrate the path you've followed and your willingness and your courage in doing that, because it's a living example for everyone, every one of us. Um, I also want to say that T.S. Eliot once said that uh, he, he talked a lot about the imprecision of words, and that oftentimes words communicate in some ways what one no longer has a reason to communicate. And so I realize that the question, how do you pray, that I could answer it differently every day. And this happened to be one day's answer. Okay. <laughs> I began praying with Hail Marys, Our Fathers, and Acts of Contrition, delivered generally on my knees with my eyes closed and my palms pressed together. Seeking a God uh, I thought I was being taught existed outside of myself. Later, I turned to other things, to mantras and chants, postures and rituals, uh, in search of a more direct connection to the oneness within. Reflections, envisionings, meditation, mind and mood altering drugs, holotropic breathwork, tantric work, are all forms of prayer uh, I have practiced in search of the peace that passeth all understanding. Today, my path is one that the good Dr. Carl Jung recommended. I seek to replace believing with knowing. So now I pray by listening to the still small voice within. I pray when I sculpt, write, make love, share what I know, and celebrate nature with an open and curious heart. I pray when I remember that God, oneness, is in all things I have ever done, failed to do, and have yet to do. I pray when I remember to be grateful, compassionate, generous, and intimate with others. I pray when I feel my own and others' pain, when I take risks, lose my way, and have the courage to accept the limitations of being in the human experience. I pray when I surrender to not knowing and to silence and have the wit to experience awe in the face of the ordinary. I pray when I live my truth and when I admit its limitations. In short, I pray when I am faithful to that part of the great song that can only be sung through me in this often confounding and yet extraordinary miracle that I call my life. Thank you. Thank you.